Hey gamers, this is Gary A. Swaby from thecoalition.com and I'm here to talk about Overwatch a little bit. Now currently Overwatch has a 94 on Metacritic and a lot of sites have given it 100 out of 100, 10 out of 10, some have given it um, 9s and 8s. So the question I raised in this video is does Overwatch deserve a perfect score? Now. I've been playing the game a few days um, and I'm actually going to say no, it doesn't deserve a perfect score, but it is a very great game. It's fantastic because, um, you know, I've been getting really bored of first person shooters and this game is actually really refreshing. Um, the, the developers, Blizzard, have put in a lot of detail, a lot of effort. The cosmetics look fantastic. The character detail, the abilities, the way that you know their abilities work together and the way that their the strengths and weaknesses bounce off of each other like it's, it's so well to put together and it forces you to play as a team but at the very same time you know that team dynamic could also be the downfall of the game in the long term because what's going to happen is after a while there's going to be a drop off in players because let's be real there's not that much content there at the moment and then that drop off, you know, is going to just leave the hardcore veterans in the game. And these veterans are going to be the ones that figure out all the techniques, all the skills, everything that works well. Um, and, you know, they're going to figure out how to use characters together, how to manipulate characters' weaknesses. And then that's going to make it hard for new players to get into the game. They're going to have um, a very steep learning curve because the veterans would have mastered the game and they'll know how to manipulate all the weaknesses of the characters. So, you know, the new people that try and get into the game are going to find it hard. And it's going to end up being, you know, kind of like Counter-Strike and Team Fortress 2. Like if you try and get into those games now, it's very difficult because, you know, the user base that has stuck with it has mastered the game and it's just a, a highly competitive game now so you know that's why i wouldn't give it a, a, a perfect score because the long-term outcome of this game really depends on the community and how people embrace the game so uh, that's why you know i wouldn't give it a perfect score but if we are just grading it on the, the actual gameplay itself fair enough is it's fantastic it's brilliant but i just feel like when you buy a game like this um a lot of the you know the, the basis of of what you score the game on is down to the long-term value of the game and i'm, I'm just not sure what's going to happen with that but you know currently i would definitely give this game a nine solid a nine out of ten so yeah i'm really enjoying it my battle tag is in the description box i'm playing on the pc so definitely hit me up if you'd like to play sometime but for now enjoy overwatch and enjoy gaming thank you very much for listening subscribe to the youtube channel peace